vacation. Oh my gosh, look, we haven't even named him yet, and the proboscis monkey <laughs> is about to mate, which is just ridiculous. I was literally just about to sort things out. Name the habitat, you know, name a few things, and oh my gosh, he's already decided that he wants to mate. This is ridiculous. Like, what on earth is going on? Everything is always so chaotic, I swear. Let's see, where is he? Where is he? Are they here? <laughs> oh my gosh, look how cute this is! They're hugging. Oh, they're having a, they're having a scratch. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> What on earth is going on? Look at them. Oh, look at them. They're so cool. Oh, he is really, really amazing, this dude. They're having a swim. Everybody's jumping in. Oh, that's so cool that, that they're mating. That's amazing. I'm very, very happy. Everybody's swimming, actually. The Malayan tapers are swimming. Oh, what are we going to call him? I'm going to call him, like, Tarzan. That's a cool name. Tarzan. And, huh, cool. uh, Kaka Kia? Oh, she's five star, oh my goodness. Huh, what to call her? Um, I'm gonna call her, hmm, hmm, I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about that. Oh, a oh, poor Jasper died. I can't believe Jasper died. Jasper, we have a vet coming for him. Oh, it's so sad. He gave us no, no white tigers. That's like, that's literally what we wanted it for. And, and bless him. He gave us, he didn't pass on his amazing genes. Oh, so sad. So sad. But, all right. People are here. People are mooing, uh, cooing even. Not mooing. Cooing over our, um, our new animals. So we need to get some bins set up so they can donate. Donate to the cause, because we need to get some plants in here. ASAP, like, seriously, dudes, we need plants. So let's see. Tropical, aquatic, Asian. Oh, so cool. And let's go a little crazy with the plants. I'm actually going to get rid of temperate, because I prefer just the tropicals. So, oh, yes, we need to get some lotus flowers in here. In their little area of water cute amazing i'm only gonna do a few there we go and then let's see we have some cool bird's nest ferns which look amazing oh let's get some rocks in here first i always really love putting some rock texture in first i think it makes a lot of difference to everything with some rocks in here. Do, do, do. There we go. Add some rocks in. There we go. And then maybe like uh, some flat ones and a big one here and here. Definitely adds to the natural look, adding some rocks in. There we go. And then once you cover this with the plants, it really makes it look amazing. There we go. All right, so that's some mossy rocks added in. And then let's go for the small plants first. Maybe we should go for the big plants first. I want some of those giant... Where are they? K-pop trees. Ah, oh, the lipstick plants. They are so cool. I don't think I've ever seen these before. Oops, it's having a second. Uh-oh. I'm going to pause it for a second just to give it a little bit of time to chill because it was struggling there. But I'm going to add a little grove over here of freaking amazing lipstick plants. Like, this is so cool. Well, it's going to say little grove, but look at it. It's huge and they're so cool. There we go. That is the grove of lipstick plants that we have growing here. And the proboscis monkeys are jumping around the lipstick plant grove. 
And then I'm going to put, let me see, maybe a mango tree, like, on the edge here of the stone. That looks so cool. This really interesting tree here. What is this tree? A rainbow eucalyptus tree. Wow. I definitely think we should add one of those in. They look really cool. Like, we could even add another one this side as well. Hmm. Let's see. Um, we need some... Oh, look. Simple coverage. Oh, that's pretty cool. But it's a bit big. So we'll leave it for now. And then we have the... Obviously, the scav... Scav... Scavola bushes? Which I love. I just, like, spend my whole time putting these down. Because they're just so good for, like, underground coverage. Which I really love. So we're going to put a few of these down in at the gaps. And then we'll also cover the area in pretty flowers as well. Super good next to the rocks because it just merges in the sides. Ah, oh, love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's put one here and one here. There we go. Oh, this is so cool. And they don't mind at all the... What are we on? Are we on a Malayan tape here? We should probably just check with the proboscis monkey that it's okay that we have this much. Yes, it is okay that we have there we go he has loads of climbing air as well this many plants he doesn't mind that's fine all right a fig tree could look really cool just sitting on this rock ah oh, this is so cool i literally love everything to do with everything okay i don't want one of those in here for now some cool dry grass this is underwater plants no, no, no. What a weeping willow tree. Oh, so cool. Okay, let's go into the smaller plants. The smaller flowers. And, ooh, let's add a few of these around to decorate with elephant ears. Gotta love the... Whoops, that didn't go down. Gotta love the elephant ears. There we go. Adding a bit of detail. And then, whoops, that was in midair. Then obviously we have these really cool chord lines, which I love. They add a pop of color, pop of pink, which is super, super fun. I love that you can get like singular ones, like the design, ah, uh, they have so much freedom with the colors and everything. Ah, uh, I love it. Okay, um, let's see, what plant can we put? Let's put a little, little cute bird's nest fern in a few places here and here and we can have a big one over here and i might add a few more of these really cool lipstick plants back here in this area make another grove over here we could add a tree there's a space for a tree here hmm what tree is this a kapok tree let's add another kapok tree in in the back here and hopefully nobody will escape with that and then we'll add some more of these really cool lipstick plants in a little grove around here um nature let's see lip here we go lipstick okay and this is the giant one so i'm gonna add a few let's move this about because this is the smaller ones so we want a few of these giants scattered about and then the small ones and then the even like small ones do we have like the the tiddly ones are these the medium ones yeah i think so oh i just love how it looks with these these are so cool so so cool ah beautiful beautiful and I'm going to add a few of these around here. Let's see, different few different sizes everywhere. And then add the singles in. Beautiful. That is going to be it. That is going to be it. And then let's add the enrichment. I'm pretty sure the Malayan Tapir has the same enrichment. So we should have, already have enrichment for them. So let's see, the Malayan Tapir... Oh, of course, they don't have any... Oh, they do have hard shelters. 
Ooh, that's really good. I'm glad that they have... Do we have... <laughs> we've... Okay. We've put down too much. They don't have any space to roam around, which is hilarious. Um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, buddies. Hang on two seconds. I'm going to give you some more space to roam. Uh, we can delete a few things. Give you some space. I know. <laughs> I went a bit crazy. I'm sorry. Malay and Tapia, where are you? Where are you? Let's see. Let's see. Pause, pause, pause. Let's see where they can actually roam. Because the poor thing, I didn't give it enough space. Traversable area is very little. <laughs> the poor things. Okay. Hang on, my friend. Hang on. Okay, that's better. So, you can roam here. You can't roam at all here. So, the lipstick plants are actually a big blocker for roaming. So, we're going to get rid of a few of these. And I'll put one over here in the corner. Alright, and then they can go this way. Can my Malayan teepure fit hang on my darling can you go under here you can and you can't is that because of this let's see better better and then obviously they can't go anywhere this way which is really interesting and annoying so let's try again whoops oh my gosh I'm flying around i'm flying around help help okay there we go so let's see let's see they can't go this way at all because there's a giant stone in the way and also a lipstick plant in the way how are we doing better they don't appreciate this. Um, I think I'll get rid of this and just put like that. That gives them a little more space to play with, I think. Hopefully, they'll be fine now. Yeah, they have enough space. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> glad we sorted that out. And then these dudes are obviously really happy and they have so much space because they can just jump all over the rocks and everywhere. Okay. Enrichment wise. Let's do enrichment. Let's see. So, habitat. Enrichment for the Malayan tapirs. They want a forage box, which is kind of cool. Boom. That can go there. I'm actually going to get rid of some of this. So that they can have some space to, you know, move around. And I'm going to get rid of this. Are the monkeys going to hate me for getting rid of this? Maybe. Look, you guys. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, my goodness. Me. Why are they so cool? He is... So cool. I really love this guy. He's like amazing. And she is also pretty cool. Look at you walking through your beautiful uh, ooh, bushes. Really, really, really cool. And everybody is loving this little patch here. They can walk in. Good. Okay. Let's see. So enrichment wise, they want a stick of fruit and now they're happy good and then toys she wants a rubber duck oh yes let's put a little rubber ducky in for her and also this really cool there we go apparently two rubber ducks but no this really cool plant screen we also put in for her and then we have the interspecies bonus no way are they actually mating <gasps> are they mating did they just mate seriously Oh my gosh, they did. That is so cool. Already, they're obviously so happy. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. And look at this little monkey. <laughs> they, 
Everybody's running everywhere. We have offspring due. I'm going to call her Kite. Just because it starts with a K and her name started with a K. So I think that's kind of cute. She's hungry. We need to get some stuff over to this area. ASAP. Let's see. What are we doing with the work zones? Nothing in here. Okay, let's see. So she's kind of attached to Watery World. Um, let's see. Oh dear, we're having a bit of a lag. Just bear with. There we go. Okay, entrance right side. It's over there. Yes, okay. And then entrance left side covers that. So what is, I think it's tortoise terrain, right? Yes, yeah, so all that is in the tortoise terrain. So we can add it into tortoise terrain, but I think we should also, for now, add it into watery world. Just to cover our backs, because there's a lot of habitats in tortoise terrain right now. So I think that would be good to do. Oh, this is the hippo habitat. I was like, what? Why is there a giant piece of water in there? Okay. Ah, oh, everyone looks so cool. I literally love this habitat with all the pink flowers in it. This guy has got his head in the bush. Um, I'm, she's so cool. I'm going to call her Papaya. Papaya. Oh, it's a him, but he can be called Papaya. That's fine. And this a lovely lady. Her name is Rath. Rath. Hmm. What to call her? What to call her? I'll have to think think on it hmm i guess we could just call her her ruth or um we have a river already kite i can't believe <gasps> wait 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 what was that oh my gosh we've missed so many things a matured red ruffed lemur another matured red ruffed lemur good 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 um the brass tapirs are fighting we have a matured flamingo We have a matured flamingo. We just have ridiculous amounts of flamingos. She's expecting offspring. Good, good, good. Lily pad is expecting offspring as well. Yes, lily pad. That's so good. I thought she was she's elderly, but obviously she can still have offspring. So that's really, really good. Although they won't be as healthy this time, which we do need to pay attention on. Um, we have a female bongo matured who can go to the wild. We have a brow teepier who's also matured. She can go to the wild. She'll cause trouble with her parents otherwise. And a Nayala who's grown up who can go off to the wild. I just love how we um, we release a lot of our animals. It's really, really fun. Okay. That's caught up. It's all good. We've caught up and we are knowing what's happening. All right. Let's run all the way back. Oh my gosh, look how big our amazing, amazing, <laughs> our amazing zoo is. Oh, it's so exciting. And nobody's actually here looking at these guys, which is very interesting and very sad. Everybody's kind of up here on top, which is fair enough. Fair enough. Um, because it's a good view from here. A very good view, actually. An amazing view. Ah, beautiful. So beautiful. All right. Let's, um, what was I doing? Checking that the proboscis monkeys have, let's see. Oh, we need a name for this place. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see. Proboscis monkey. I want to check that they're hungry. Oh yes. Work zones. Let's call the keeper. Hopefully the keeper will come straight away. We need a name for this amazing place. Um, and we also need, I was trying to think of a name, but no. Okay, and we also need the Briscus Monkey Enrichment. So the rubber duck and the fruit spike actually give them enrichment, which is really good. Species, pee 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 pee. P proboscis. Got it. Uh oh, we have an escaped animal. Don't tell me it's a proboscis monkey. It's a red rough lemur. Who just 
looks to be walking out of the habitat. I hope that's not a thing that's going to happen a lot and maybe just a coincidence. I don't know why she escaped. But there we go. Okay. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I don't know why she managed to escape. Okay. But, um, oh no. And we have our anteater who died. Oh no. Oh, I'll miss our beautiful anteaters. Let's see. A herb scent marker for our proboscis. Monkeys, come on, let me grab you, please. Tarzan. All right, let's see. He needs a ice. There we go. Wow, they need a lot of enrichment. And then let's see. Mirror mobile. Luckily, we can just add things on top of the... Let's see this and add this here you can add things on top of their climbing area so that it doesn't affect the space that the malayan tapirs have and then let's see let's get a box here nearly there nearly there cardboard box okay there we go now they have great okay now species of food enrichment we just need to add this barrel there we go they are happy they are happy, good, and I really, really love to make our animals 100% happy with everything. Which is what is Tarzan. He is very, very happy. Okay, and then we have, obviously, the death of our giant anteater. Oh, dear. Oh, I loved, I loved our anteaters. Let's see, how are they doing? Kelpie and leaf. Oh, we did actually have a female. Good, we had a female, so... Actually, we could get a new male for Juliana, but I think it's probably best to wait until she passes because she is elderly and then we'll get a um, a new mate for this beautiful female here. All right, that is going to be the end of this episode. And I'll see you guys next episode. Goodbye for now.